Good afternoon. It's uh, Pastor Eric back with you again today. It is uh, Wednesday, March 18th. <clears throat> and so thank you again for joining us. Um, one of the ways that we are continuing to connect with one another during this time of transition as we're dealing with uh, not being able to gather with uh, one another, only being able to be in groups of 10 or less. I know that it's a, a difficult time for many of us, and so that's why I want to keep doing these on a daily basis so that we are able to stay connected and we are able to pray together and read scripture together and focus on the gifts that we do have and the way that we are still being the church together in this time and in this place, even though it's a little different. And so today I'm going to open up with a prayer from the Episcopal Church. Uh, it is from their Book of Common Prayer, and this is a, a call for guidance. So I invite you to join me in a word of prayer as we start. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray that you so guide us and govern us by your Holy Spirit that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So there are a number of things we're working on here at the church. We've got some uh, Sunday school emails and videos that are going out. We're starting to work on middle school and high school ideas. Um, a bunch of other things we're going to be live streaming or videoing some services. Tonight we will be videoing uh, the dramas that we have for the rest of the Lenten season. We will probably not have the one that we would normally do tonight uh, up yet. It'll probably be tomorrow morning, but the rest of the time, hopefully throughout Lent, we'll have the other dramas up and we will still have videos or live streams coming on Sunday mornings, our goal is to have those up every 9.30 Sunday morning, so we're maintaining that kind of schedule. And so all that is coming. Um, we're going to keep doing this as well to stay with you. We're going to be doing a bunch of other things as well to continue to connect. And as I said yesterday, if anybody is interested in doing an online type of Bible study, uh, we are able to use different groups like Zoom uh, to do those studies, and so I'm more than happy to do something like that. So far, I've had one person that's interested. If anybody else is, let me know. Uh, you can do that in a comment here, or you can message us at the church, and we will start getting that together as well. So at this point, um, what I'd like to do is dive in with a little reflection. I'm going to be looking at Psalm 62, and I'm only going to be looking at the first two verses, but Psalm 62 is what I'm going to be looking at today. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. For him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall never be shaken. I like looking at this one because I don't know about where you are right now, but with me, there are so many things going on in my mind, focusing on what might be happening in the future, trying to figure out how do we live our life today? How do I help my kids continue to grow in their faith, in their understanding, in their schoolwork, in their social lives? How do I work with a congregation that is being so spread out and in many ways being limited to the contact that we can have with one another? And so my soul, it's not always in silence. My soul at times is just burning up with everything that's going on and trying to figure out how can I do this? And then I get this word, my soul waits in silence. God is calling to me just as he is calling to you saying, there are times that we need to sit and be still. There are times that we need to just calm down and listen for the voice of God and reflect on what God may be saying to us in this moment at this time. So yesterday, um, after I got done working here, I went back home for a little bit and I grabbed my daughter and uh, we knew that they were going to be closing the library soon because that's one of the things that's going to be happening is closing these public places. And so we went down there and checked out this 
huge stack of books and brought it back home. And it was one of those joyful times because I didn't feel like I had to rush through the library. Rather, I was there. We could take our time. We could pick out different books. She was able to look at different books she had never considered before. We got a few videos, all of those different things. But often when we go to the library, we go in, we grab what we want to grab, and we get out. This time, since we didn't have anything to go to, we didn't have to come back to work. We didn't have to go to any lessons. We didn't have to go to any sports activities. We were forced to calm down in many ways. And in calming down like that, in being able to reflect on different books, to look at different authors, to just be with one another as we found these things was an unbelievable blessing. So even though we're being separated, even though we're not able to do everything that we had done before, um, new opportunities are arising. And some of those might be digital like this, and some of them might be with families, being able to reunite, to spend time together. Some might be friends, being able to sit down and write letters or thank you notes or cards to those who they know are really missing out in human contact. We are able to do a lot of things that we weren't doing before, and now we're being strongly encouraged to since we're not allowed to leave our homes and do different things like that. And so God is calling us in many ways to wait in silence, to wait for him to come to us, to listen with open ears, because he is speaking to us and just doing so in a variety of different ways. And then there is that verse 2. Um, he alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall never be shaken. So when all of this stuff is going on around us, um, we also know that God comes to us and holds on to us. For when these times of shaking happen, he is the one that supports us, loves us, and carries us. And so I'd like you to be able to hear that word of love and hope that comes from God and from this community that is still the church, this community that is his body, this community that you are a very necessary part of. Will you join me in our Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining me today, and uh, we will continue to do these video updates. Like I said, the goal is every day, and hopefully by tomorrow at this time, we will have our next Lenten drama up, and so I look forward to having that with you as well. Have a wonderful day.